Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. In this tutorial, we're diving into a cool extension for Stable Diffusions to spice up your animations, SDCN animation. Before this, we gave another animation boosting extension called Move a To Move a Shot. Now, some of you might be wondering why this extension isn't showing up after a restart in the Automatic 11.11 web UI. Well, the main culprit is upgrading to the shiny new Automatic 11.11 1.6. As you probably know, the latest Automatic 11.11 version isn't entirely buddy-buddy with all the other extensions just yet. Remember Control Net in Automatic 11.11? It wasn't supported when SDXL was released, and even now, only a handful of Control Net models play nice with SDXL in Automatic 11.11. So for now, let's all just hang tight with version 1.6. For this demo, I'm rolling with the older version 1.5. Yep, I've got version 1.6 set up elsewhere. If you're running into issues setting up version 1.6, head on over to the official GitHub page and hit them up for some answers. Now let's chat about SDCN animation. I've noticed quite a few YouTube videos using this extension to jazz up their animations. But here's the catch compared to move to move. This extension tends to create videos that flicker quite a bit. So in today's tutorial, we'll also be running through a few examples with different settings to see how we can dodge this flickering issue. For our first example, I'm going to follow their official GitHub pages recommendation and start with the control net tile model type. After that, we'll experiment with other control net model types to see which one plays best with this extension. Now, before we dive in, we need to get this extension into our automatic 1111 web UI. Here's the drill. Copy the GitHub link and paste it into the install from URL text box. You'll find the link provided in the video description below. Now hit that install button and watch the magic happen as it starts downloading into your setup. Once the download is complete, head back to the installed tab, click apply, and give your UI a quick restart. Nice and easy, just the way we like it, and it's a typical way to install any extension here. All right, next up, we'll need some stock videos for our demo. Personally, I've got an Artlist.io account, so I'm grabbing stock videos from there. You can snag stock videos from other sites as well, but remember, steer clear of anything with copyright restrictions. For this demo, I've downloaded some dance-related videos. Let's get creative. And for each of these stock videos, I've trimmed them down to just a few seconds, purely for our demo's sake. Now, let's dive into the web UI. I'm going to kick things off by selecting the Rev Animated Checkpoint model for our first round of generation. Here's the drill. Set the width and height, then simply drag and drop the video into this panel. As for our prompts, we're going all out with animations, ultra detail, a cyberpunk style for the outfit, and neon lights for the background. Fingers crossed this should give us a dancing character with some unique flair. I'm following the exact same settings as the GitHub page mentions for control net, purely for experimental purposes. All right, the official page suggests using the tile preprocessor as the control net model. And we're leaving the other settings as default. Let's click generate and sit tight for the results. Now I can see the CMD running. One great thing about this extension is that it autonomously reads the input video, calculates the number of frames it needs to process and gets to work. It's quite handy in that regard. As the first few frames start to appear, we've got a cyberpunk looking character standing in the middle. Let's hope for a smooth ride from here on. I should mention that I haven't made any modifications to the processing strength, fixed frame strength, or sampling steps. They're all running on default settings. If we notice any improvements or issues with the video's performance, we can always come back to tweak these settings along with the extras. Now I'm going to fast forward through the generation because, well, 
it takes some time to process. And there we have it. The generation is complete. Let's take a look at the output video. Hmm. Quite a bit of flickering, and the character doesn't seem consistent, does it? For our next experiment, we need to edit those extra settings to reduce the blur and flickering. Oh, and I should specify. Uh, a seed number to hopefully give us a more consistent character style. Now, I'm trying another video this time without, without any prompts, just leaving the negative prompt in the text box. Our goal here is to achieve a consistent character output and a more stable display with less flickering. In the extra settings, I've lowered the occlusion blur strength, unchecked occlusion trailing, and also dialed down the other three multiplier settings. Well, folks, this is all about trial and error, especially since I'm not too familiar with this extension. Let's keep experimenting. Oh, I'm keeping the processing mode as default for now. Also for this control net experiment, I've added open pose into the generation process, which should improve the character output. Let's fire up the last generation and see how this goes. Now, this second video is also three seconds in length and it's processing a total of 180 frames. All right, the first processed image is looking pretty good. Now we'll patiently wait for the frame processing to finish. Okay, the generation is done. One thing I forgot to mention is that for this second video experiment, I switched to the cyber realistic checkpoint model. Don't ask me why, it just felt like the right move at the moment. Okay, let's do a preview of this video. It does look better than the first one, but I have to say I still think this extension didn't perform as well as move to move. For the next video, I'm planning to give Temporal Kid a shot. I've seen videos where Temporal Kid outperforms this one, so I'm here to explore different extensions and see what works best. That's a wrap for today's tutorial. Until next time, catch you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.